Doctor Strange continues to dominate the box office, now having made $700 million in just about or slightly under two weeks. There are still some questions whether this film is a success or not for some reason, but let's look at these numbers a little bit more in depth. So obviously looking at 700 million worldwide is huge. If you compare it to the top heavy hitters in the MCU, obviously it's not as good as your Avengers films. But again, if you just compare two weeks of this film and $700 million, and most films in Hollywood today doing their full run and being huge successes with 350 to 500 million in box office after months, I think it's pretty safe to say that this thing is a huge success. Now, with that in mind, there is a couple things to bring into the conversation that give us a little bit more insight into this film's success. Quite obviously, the biggest factor here in terms of location around the planet where most people are seeing it is the United States. This isn't really surprising because the original Doctor Strange had a pretty big hit in the United States as well. And the US alone is again a driving force for the MCU. Now, international locations, we're seeing those be pretty much exactly where you would expect them to be. And without China, I think it's safe to say that this film could have had another 100 to 200 million already. But again, that's not a factor here nor there anymore. So again, just looking at how fast this film has climbed up to this type of money, I think it's a pretty safe assumption by anybody to make that this thing is going to be pretty big over the next couple of weeks as well. Again, yeah, it's not going to remain in the top spot forever or anything, but they're already pretty profitable with this thing. And again, you have to consider all the things that tie into the way that Disney calculates their profits. And that's bringing characters like America, for example, into Disney parks after this film. That's revenue. They have this unique sort of revenue that not many other films have that they kind of just keep it in their own system and nothing really leaves it, which I think is very telling here in terms of how they're positioning themselves up for the future. Now, I will say there was some people I saw that said that this film should have already hit a billion dollars, but I don't know. You know, I've talked about it before in terms of marketing. I think this film's marketing was god awful. You know, I love the film, but I will stand by that. I think this film sold you a completely different thing and undersold you what you were getting. And I think that is problematic. And certainly there's still the factor of people don't want to go back or some people are not interested in seeing a film up until it's home release again. So I think a couple of things do factor into it, but I don't think they're as big as some are making it out to be. I will say I think the marketing is probably the biggest damage to this film. They just did not nail it in my opinion and the Marvel Studios J.J. Abrams almost level of the mystery box did not work favors for this one. Maybe they'll fix it next time but don't hold your breath. <laughs>